on outreach, I'm going to Greece, Cyprus, Montenegro, um, the UK, the United Kingdom, and then Copenhagen, Denmark. Uh, and then after that, Lesbos, Greece. Lesbos in Greece, Latvia, Belarus, Finland, Italy, Romania, Portugal, and Spain. As well as um, Latvia, Italy, Lesbos. To Lesbos, Greece first, and then to the Ukraine, then to Romania, then Portugal, and then Spain, where we'll be on the El Camino Trail and kind of the heart of outreach is evangelism. And what that means is uh, meeting people where they're at and just kind of showing them the love of God. Leaving our home for three months and going into five different countries to share the gospel, we're committed. We're not gonna just walk around and hope to find someone and hope to find someone that would ask us questions, but we would go and seek the people and pursue people. That they would know the true love of God and really just feel the freedom that there is to, to live for for God and to really give your life to Him. Praying for the nation themselves, um, praying for the people, or even just going out in the streets and maybe giving out sandwiches to the homeless that, that are there, or standing on the street and playing some music and just bringing some joy to the street, or maybe working with different churches. I think that being here has showed me a lot about who I am, and also because I've been learning so much more about His character, it's shown me a lot more about who I am, who He says I am. God's been teaching me how to look at people in a way that He does. Really being open um, to like being generous with whatever I have. Something that really stood out to me was, yeah, just that God didn't call us to make believers. He called us to make disciples of the nations. And that's one thing I'm really going to be thinking about when I'm on outreach is not just telling people the gospel, but also showing them how they can live a godly life. The school has prepared me in so many ways. Culture usually just tells us that like you just stay in your bubble and you stay in your own world. Um, but that's not what we're called to as Christians. I mean, I'd say the way that I've grown the most during this school for sure is in the way that I relate to people. Um, now I feel like I have a better understanding of how relationship factors into what Jesus was trying to do and what we as missionaries are trying to do. Uh, I'm really excited to just meet new people and, and be able to interact with all different types of cultures and different types of people. Um, just all over Europe. For a mission trip like this, going to a lot of different areas, because you get to see how uh, a lot of different cultures interact, especially in the way that they uh, present and receive the gospel. Just see what God is going to do. Last year when I led the, the outreach, everything went amazing, and it was just God moving, and it was so great. And just like, God, what are you going to do? Like, what are, you, what are we going to do about it? And then just God came through always. So it's just so awesome as a leader, on outreach to let God be the main leader of it. Uh, the purpose of missions in YWAM is obviously to go out and make God known and not just like share our gospel message and say Jesus loves you but actually be the hands and feet of Christ and so in Greece we're actually going to a refugee camp um, and serving there and kind of doing whatever dirty work needs to be done and to kind of show people like hey you've gone through a lot of rough stuff but you're still loved and you're still valued and you're still important. As we do this that's when the doors open and that's when people start to get just more vulnerable more open and are actually asking the questions that needs to be asked and we're not asking it for them. Most people are searching for the answer to that question, why am I here, uh, what is my purpose? To me, introducing them to Jesus and to the Bible is uh, giving them the answers to these questions that they're already looking for. Outreach is really, it can look like absolutely anything and that just kind of shows the creativity of, of God. He is just creative and outside of the box. We need to show it to people. People need to know as well and for that we need people to step out, to step out, to, to leave their country, to leave their family, to go on missions, to be committed, to reach the, un the unreached. That's just our call and that's what Jesus is calling us to do and mission is everywhere for me. Mission is. You don't need to go and live in Africa to be a missionary. And I think it is really an unknown adventure and just kind of expected for whatever is going to happen. Um, and there was a verse in Psalms that talked about putting your um, plans in the Lord and trusting Him. So I think that's kind of all just goes together, trusting the Lord for this unknown adventure and just being okay with not knowing what's to come. 